Why, hello everybody. Welcome back to another episode of Little Little Wood Shop. My name is Steve. Uh, today I just wanted to touch real, real quick with you a uh, quick tip. And it relates to safety, which is something we all know we can't have enough of. Um, this happened to me last year. I wasn't even going to do this video, but I felt I should because I could have been hurt. More importantly, somebody that was in the shop with me could have been hurt. Uh, it was entirely my fault. I was rushing. I wasn't paying attention. And this is the scenario. Machine was doing what the machine does. It was milling, cutting, it was doing its, its function. Uh, we had a dust collector going, uh, somebody was running a saw, we had air compressors, there was a lot of noise. The, the, the shop radio was on, listening to our favorite, whatever, and the machine retracted back. It had finished its run cycle, all the axes went back to zero, and the router was still going, okay? I was displaced. Mentally, someplace else, I don't know, I was shooting the breeze with the other individual that was up here, and I knew I had to do a bit change. Well, as I'm going to do this bit change with these, these trusty collet wrenches, I'm talking to the individual, uh, who's also up here, and I went to put my wrench in, completely forgetting about the fact that this was running. Okay, well, fortunately, for me, the other party concerned, uh, my wrench just kind of bounced off the spinning collet nut. Thank goodness. If it had engaged in the router, it would have either broke something, it would have thrown the wrench through the shop. Somebody could have been hurt. All because I was not paying attention. I was distracted by other things. Now, I, I, can't, I can't stress this enough. Uh, this equipment does exactly as it is told. You'll hear me make comments in other videos. It is the perfect child. It will listen to you and follow your orders and commands impeccably without question. Okay. With that being said, well, going forward, uh, we had mentioned earlier, uh, I run VCarve Pro, and the control package that came with this machine was WinCNC. I know some of you guys are running Mach 3. Okay, I don't, I don't know anything about Mach 3. I don't even have any input for you on Mach 3. I'm just here to discuss when CNC and a very small piece of it because I'm guilty of not reading the full owner's manual on it myself. Okay. Well, this is what I now do. Within when CNC, there, there are operation codes, uh, G, L, and M. We're only going to specifically talk about one code at the moment. Uh, it's an M code. It's a very specific M code. Okay. Uh, and, and, and what is an M code? Okay. An M code. You're getting close to 50, you need these. Okay? An M code, they are used to enable or disable uh, auxiliary outputs. Well, in this case, an M05 code disrupts the power to your spindle or your router. Now, going forward, ever since this little incident, uh, I put an M05 code at the end of all my programs. Uh, what happens then? The router retracts back, it resets to zero from its original starting point. Uh, once that's done, it reads the M05, it shuts the power off, the router shuts down. Now wherever you are in the shop, I could be sanding, I could be airbrushing, uh, I could be looking at the next program, or the next phase of the program that I have to do with a bit change or something, uh, but it shuts off. Great. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to show you where to go put that M05 code in your WinCNC controller to do just that. Uh, once again, this was my fault. I was not paying attention, but now this is something, it's one more little thing that I can do up here to help secure me because I do, for the most part, work alone and I very, very seldomly have a second set of hands up here. Uh, by working alone in, in shops, you do open yourself up to a risk of injury. Well, in my case, that could have been avoided by not being stupid. Well, I'm going to teach you how to not be a dumbass, like me, okay? So you guys hang on one minute, I'm going to take you over to the control panel, we're going to show you where to drop that code, and never have yourself 
uh, a Steve incident, okay? You guys hang on one second. We'll be right back. All right, thank you. All right, everybody. Well, in front of us, what you see is our visual CNC control panel, our Win CNC. okay? What we're going to do is we're going to go up to our file bar. Now, I have an open CRV file that I'll just use for the example. Okay, we're going to open up a label that we're doing for a client, okay? We see it loaded up here in our bar. We can pull the image up, okay? That's just the logo for a gentleman that I've been working on. Uh, and what we're going to do is we're going to go over to the edit. Looks like a, a notepad. We're going to click on that. Now, what you see here in front of you is you literally see all the command lines for the machine. Now, there are a gazillion of them, even for a, a, a project this small. What we're going to do is you're going to scroll all the way down to the very bottom. This is the tail end of the program. Here you can see it's telling our z-axis to come up a quarter inch, then a half inch, and then it's telling our gantry for our x and y axis to retract back to its starting position or, or zero. Now, what we do at the very tail end of this, we go in and we put in, I don't know as though it matters for capital letters or not, but I put in a shift, capital M, I put in a zero, I put in a five. Now what this tells the computer, uh, to the controllers, to the machine, is after it reads this block of information and it brings everything back to where it should be, Kapow, the MO5 kicks on, kicks in, rather, excuse me, uh, and it shuts the router or your spindle off. Now, that's shut down, and if you're sidetracked at doing something else, well then, guess what? You're going to hear it shut off, okay? Plus, chances are you're not going to make the same mistake I did, okay? Now, when you go to close this, uh, do you want to save the changes? Yes, you want to save the changes. That's it. It is that simple. Uh, if you've got a long run, uh, this code comes in handy. If you're in your shop working, like I said, gantry and everything resets to zero. The machine shuts down automatically, and it lets you know. Okay, This helps me. I hope it helps you. I hope you guys get a little something out of these videos. Uh, and if you ever have any questions, by all means, send us an email, all right? Or... Hit us up in the comment box, uh, by all means, and we will get back to you as, as promptly as we can. Guys, you've been great. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll get more out there. Thank you.